Hey YouTube, Leo Potts on your mouth. Uh, it's a 125 gallon saltwater coral reef tank. Today we're doing the uh, LED, the LED build. Uh, we just got some uh, PAR 38 LEDs from Ledtrick. We got 15 watts and we got some 10 watts. Uh, beautiful light fixtures. I have not plugged them in yet. I'm just waiting patiently as I waited for them to get delivered. Um, so far, great customer service from Ledtrick. And uh, for the most part, I'm just getting started here. We got um, some electrical, what are these guys called? Uh, keyless plastic lamp holders. And um, for the most part, that's that. We got some uh, electrical boxes, octagon boxes. We got some 24 hour uh, timers here, programmable digital timers. And that's pretty much it. Just some 14 2 wire jigsaw. Uh, we got the hole saw there. We cut the plywood uh, rough measurements are 15 inches by 72 inches. That's the size of the tank. Or that's basically the size of the light I need for the tank. Just some uh, electrical tools here, electrical pouch that we need. For the most part, that's it. We're just at the beginning stage. Here we are. The lights are off. We're getting ourselves into the evening time here. So uh, that's just what it is. That's when I'm doing the job. It's towards the evening and the lights are shutting off on the tank. Here's the new sump, all installed, 75 gallon, uh, designed all the baffles and everything, just basically tweaked it up yesterday, got everything working top, top notch, uh, still adjusting the salt level, I gotta raise it up a bit and do some more water tests and changes and just play it by ear one day at a time. For the, for the most part, the sump's working great. Here's the old T5 lights that are going to be coming out, and that's where the LEDs are going to be going. Those are uh, all the switches and everything, phosphate reactor, power heads, uh, we've got the skimmer, sump pump, refugium light, main lights, those are all the switches, so I don't have to unplug anything, I can just hit the switches and everything works. There's a gravity fed bucket, return pump, gravity fed float valve. This is just another submergible pump that I added for some extra flow. Uh, the refugium. And that's uh, pretty much it. Same old. You can check out my other videos to have a look at the, uh, the sump and whatnot. But uh, right now we're working on these LED lights that we just got. And uh, we'll be putting the digital dimmers most likely on that wall right there. For the light fixtures that we're going to be installing. So there you have it. Here's the before. Don't forget to check out the after of the uh, LED build. And uh, there you have it. This is just the start. I'm going to get ready to drill these uh, bad boys with the holes through and uh, get everything connected and wired up. So this will be pretty fun and interesting. So stay tuned and uh, you guys will see a finished product, man. There's uh, quite a bit of work ahead still to do. All right, guys. Any questions, concerns, give me a shout. Feel free to comment. You know what it is. Leo Potts on your mouth. Thanks, guys.